Welcome back to some of the Talus Principle. I'm Dear Darling, and who are we? What's our purpose? Why don't we answer these questions together? Well, I can't quite remember exactly what we're doing, but you know, it, it, the same old, same old. As the old thing goes, solve some puzzles. That's not a saying. In, in fact, that's just, that's just me speaking, I suppose, really. But um, that's what I'm here for. That's what you're here for. That's what we're all here for. We're all here to scream for ice cream, or however that saying goes. Um, did, we, we all unlocked a van, right? Yes, so we did the puzzle that so required a fan, and that is what we'll be doing. I'm seeing how that interacts with the world and everything else surrounding I see it. All. Hello. I know all. Omniscient. My power knows no bounds. Omni powerful. And yet your will is free Omni. because you were made to be free. Oh, well, that's nice and reassuring. It is I think. the very principle of your existence, without which the trials of this world would hold no meaning. To seek uh, salvation must be your choice. I don't really know what to make of that, but, you know, that sounds like it's got a lot more of a grand meaning than I thought. Hold on, why is my mouse on the screen there? Um, which one should we read out first? Science magic, science magic. Though the term science has only meant what it does to us for around 600 years, its practice far predates the name. There's evidence pre-Aristotle which indicates soothsayers, mystics and the like may have employed basic scientific methods to predict the future and confound their benefactors. So, so they, they use predictive technologies. To act like they weren't scientific, what? Well, one anecdote concerns a palm reader who was exposed when two wealthy clients compared their readings and found them to be identical. In 1948, the tendency to discover deep personal meaning in vague descriptions. Ah, oh, didn't we talk about this recently? Delivered authoritatively was given a name before effect. I didn't know a name for effect. Today it's recognized in all contemporary psychological theory. Because they gave me a psychological profile and I was like, isn't this just super generic? <laughs> Wait, less. Weight loss blog, latest entry. Oh man, if there's one thing that's good about inevitable death, it's a food. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna have all the horrible unhealthy food in the world. I'm gonna feast on jelly, bana jelly bananas like a crazy monkey on monkey Christmas. And you know those muffins that have so much chocolate they're basically melting? That's gonna be my breakfast and burgers for lunch. I'm gonna have burgers so greasy you could use them to lubricate a whole factory. That's, that's just gross, to be honest. Triple bacon burgers with double cheese and extra onions and mayonnaise and ketchup and mustard and big fat juicy patties. And an oily thick pizza with spicy salami and barbecue sauce and olives and jalapenos and sour cream food coma. Here I come. Um, so so much for your weight loss. I suppose it is the inevitable heat death of world, but I can't. Look, greasy food, you know, good for the first bite, really bad for the second bite, and then terrible from the third bite onwards. <laughs> Fascinated by Drennan's project, well for me at least. Lovely conversation read the Talus Principle. Greek philosophy relevance to current situation. Suggested naming project Talus. Drennan refused, but name seems to have caught on with the team. Tens of thousands of hours coming in every hour. Our whole history. As we get a little bit more added on to the lore of this game. Um, yeah, I, I guess we'll... Oh, hold on. There's something over here. What's this then? Another record by... Alexandra? A timepiece. An hourglass. Zonya's hourglass. Great empty cities. You know they say that dreams are a really bad conversation topic because it makes the other viewer listen space, very bored. All dark. Moonshot. Not a single light to guide me home. But if someone really came from another world, hmm. what would the earth look like to them? A wilderness? So, a pale blue dot? A wasteland? I don't think so. Even after thousands of years, They'd see a world shaped by our hand in every aspect of its being. Ooh. They'd see the can fly. and the roads, the bridges, the harbors. And they would say, here lived a race of giants. A race of giants? They scare me, but they also remind uh, see. me that we built all of this. Well, I'm, I'm not sure we built most of the world. Most of the world kind of like already came... I was gonna say pre-programmed, that's not really the terminology you use, but um, it's kind of like already a thing, wasn't it? It's kind of like, you know, the mountains, we didn't really build the mountains, they're kind of there, formed by tectonic movements or plates. Uplifted! What? What is that? We, we can like hold up a platform? We become a platform? Now this seems interesting to me, because this seems like this could be ripe for potential um, cross-level sort of lasery going on. Like what if we connected it to this? Like, looked over here, connected it to something else, and put it back on there. Does it have sight of any? Hmm, not really. But, you know, you have a potential there. Look, you can still see it from over there. It keeps it rendered in, in the distance. 
Now this seems like a significant level because it seems to be between the Mount Rushmore and the Egyptian pharaohs, but the tomb. Whether or not, whether it is or not, I don't know. Why does this one feel so much more atmospheric than the others? Oh, QR codes. I'm convinced our answers here. If we look hard enough, we have to work together on this. Short sure, sheep. Okay. So I get that I'm supposed to retrieve these sigils. I just don't get why. Sure, the loud voice is telling me to, but this world has, of his has no context, no purpose, no foundations from which to construct them. As Alexandra once said, it's play. It's what makes humans separate from everyone else. The, the, the concept of play, the concept of games, the concept of solving puzzles just for the sake of it. So we need a laser. And we have a laser. We now need a connector. Why are all these rooms so suspiciously laid out? Is it just me? You think so? Maybe. I believe we need the jammer. Oh, sorry, just hit my mic. I believe we need the jammer to actually get through here, but I'm assuming there's some sort of fancy way we can connect all of these up. Maybe not. Hmm. I'm not particularly convinced we can. But we can connect all of these up. Whether we want to or not, I, I don't really know. Like, we can go back there, but... <laughs> seems a little bit pointless. But perhaps we've got another connector waiting for us through here or something? We do have at least one more connector. Which seems like an easy enough solution. Hmm, too easy a solution. Ah, not quite easy. We need to have, um... A bit of a better layout, it seems. That's quite alright. Um, technically, we don't need to keep this one connected, but... I mean, we might as well if we're here, right? What? Oh, it's saying it's not connected because there's a, a thing in the way. <laughs> I was like, why is it saying it's not connecting? And it very clearly is. Alright, so we're off to a good start. For ancient hieroglyphic lands. There's a lot more questioning about what we're doing here. With Elohim. What on earth is awaiting us around this area? Why are we doing this? I don't know. I don't have these answers. I've got the same questions that you all do, sheep and dog. Um, dog sheep. It's, um, the sequel to cat dog, I suppose. I still think that laser must be... Must be part of some sort of um, meta meta puzzle. I always do like it when these puzzle games get meta puzzles up in here. Baba's you had a copious amount of them in there. Let's see, man on the moon. Interesting. What are these? I am not sure. Ah, these are... We can make them fans. I see. Okay, so we need to launch something to the other side. We need to launch us to the other side too. Interesting. Interesting how we can detach a fan. How, the question becomes, how do we simultaneously launch us and then... So we can, we can launch a cube quite easily. But we need to get launched as well, me thinks. Question is, how do we do both? Can this weigh down a button? It can. Okay, that, that's how we do it. We launch it like this. And we launch ourselves using a fan. Oh, I guess we could have launched the fan across as well, now I think about it. Good thing there's ladders on these sides, so we're not tra trapped here forever. A little bit of a fake out there with the double fans. <laughs> and you know, let's not, let's not waste uh, the electricity in here. We might as well take this fan off. Let it sort of chill. So we're doing pretty well. It's turned to night time. A little bit spooky, but not that spooky. But that moon is huge. I mean, I know it's an artificial sky and all, but... Can you have at least done a little bit of a better sized moon? Right? That's just unreasonable. Okay, we need some keys. Higher ground. Got a connector up there. Interesting. What can we connect to C from up here? What is that? A jammer? Oh, 
There's a lot going on here, isn't there? Can we jam it? Jam can't jam this, right? Let's just sort of see what we got going on before we jump too heavily into this. We got one single jammer. We can jam this. We can go back through and jam back from the other side. And hopefully grab the keys. Um, high ground is around for a reason. As you can, we, we can't jam through this. I forgot. What's the point of this jammer back here then? Got a hint system. Don't need it. Not yet at least. You can't jam through these things. So perhaps there is a way to... You can't jam from that far a distance, can you? Maybe you can't wait. Is this a... Oh, this is a jammer. I didn't realise. Ah. We can jam from over here. So we need to start, sort of set ourselves up. Over here. I see. For us to come back in here with this jammer. And make our way through these obstacles. How intriguing. So what's this way? I honestly can't see anything through there, but it might be useful. So we might as well take a look. This is going to be a lot of running back and forth. I would have thought. But let's completely clear out that area first before we completely move on. Just so we can sort of see what could be awaiting through these very glitchy walls. Hmm, there's a locked door. Is that the end? That looks like the end. Epitaph Child Program 10.610085, codename Faith, terminated here. Logic, worship the designer for a number of days when allowed a serpent into its heart. The serpent? Hmm. Final memory dump. I asked the designer for forgiveness that I may join him in the eternal memory. Progen progeny programs, samsara and sheep. I guess someone met their end here. Seems well connected somehow, like a distant family relations. Different versions, different series. What are we? Are you, you, you're probably like this, this one's child or something if he's doing some sort of artificial intelligence thing, right? Who cares? Just be grateful we don't have to read anything more about our great designer, the Greek. Mm -hmm. Again, again, more, more and more of our friends are meeting their fate. What do we have to do for this way, huh? I'm not sure what's this way. And that's the difficult part, trying to figure out what, what's where. But what I do know is we can stop doing this. We can actually open... Perhaps keep this one open for now? So we can sort of look for ourselves to see. How do we even get over there? We're so far away. Hmm. I don't know. But we can take it one step at a time. As you should take most things in life. We jam this. Then what? We, we, we can offset these. Oh. It's a bit difficult to offset, isn't it? Hmm. So we keep these two here. Let's just see, maybe we can, we had to offset them from here. Okay, we had to offset them from here, then we keep those two open. It allows us to walk across through here, into here, where we need to open that gate somehow. No, we can bring, the, wait, can we bring the jammer with us? I'm just trying to think, because we can offset them. But we, we need both of these to be open. Or do we? No, we don't. Let's, okay, let, I, I got it. What we can do is we can um, hold this one open from the other side and then it can close behind us, locking ourselves in. Okay, but first things we need to do is we need to offset both of these. So this one we can offset just like from here, can't we? Seems like a big enough offset. And then that one's, one of them definitely has to open that door. Okay, this one, we can offset, um, we have to offset ourselves. 
by opening the door for us, then we'll offset them through the window. And then from there, once we're offset, we can um, then do what we need to do. I mean, I suppose we could have used this top platform for things, but at least I believe I have a solution which we don't need to. So we just offset these two so we can slip around them. That's probably good enough. And then we set it up such that we can... Oh, there's a lot of back and forth. We have to know, now go back here. We could have done this more efficiently if we didn't secure that one of the final gate already, but we'll go back here, take this jammer, jam the same door. Now I jam this door from the other side using this jammer. Open the other door. Yes, okay, this should work. We're creating a jammer out of nothing by bringing it with us and locking ourselves in. And the game doesn't ask out afterwards, then I suppose that's the end of our journey. We'll sort of join the fates of Samsara. Talking about the great designer in the sky. So yes, um, now we can... Can you jam us from here? Just about. Perfect. Now we should be good. We should be good to finish this level, provided we don't, you know, mess up the timing. On walking between the... The exploding... S spheres, I don't know. So just be a bit careful. Like, wait for it to come back and we'll slip past. Should, should be a big enough offset. Maybe not quite big enough. It's a bit touchy, but... We still made it in the end. This one, I'd, I'd give a huge, 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 huge... Birth. There we go. Done. Not too bad. What was this one called? Like, oh, higher ground or something? Well, too, not posing too much of a threat to us yet. But it could be. Sooner or later, so let's not get too cocky. We haven't found a start yet, either. We haven't even seen where it is. I've come to see that these mysteries are not all, not all for his children to solve. Only the designer himself could ever truly understand his infinite complexity of a creation. I will gaze at his work and worship. Is that the person who died, or is that the, the child or someone who dies? The, the progeny. Oh, we've we done all of them. Hmm. I'm trying to think where the star would be hidden, though. My, my guess it's in this level, and we had to use this laser to, um, to do it, but... I don't know, we, we can give it a quick look, but I didn't really see it. Also, which which level was this level? Man of the Moon. I mean, it almost feels like there should be something to do with a moon, right? Man on the Moon is such a weird hint to give, isn't it? Because they could have just been like over the wall or something, or hop the fence. But man on the moon. But I can't see where a star would even be. So perhaps it, perhaps it's actually in that laser maze over there. But we just, we just missed it. But for now, we're just moving on. You know, the stars will be something we come back to later. Maybe we'll, we'll have to call those shots when we get to it. But for now, we're just doing the levels normally. Hello, get up here, mouse. Uh, done. Here's what I've been wondering while you were carrying off commandments. You say that consciousness is some kind of functional system. Arrange bits of matter in the right order and outspring sentience. That's all very well on paper, but if what counts is... Excuse me. But if what counts is what something does, not what it's made of, then couldn't you and I design a series of tin cans and strings that qualified as being conscious? Hmm... What counts is what something does? I don't think it's just something. what something does, right? doesn't have to do it of its own volition, I suppose. I guess that kind of raises the question of what becomes your own volition, right? I'm not sure I'd go that far. What about a computer program? Suppose we built a perfect simulation of a brain, only it was a mat made of transistors, not neurons. Wouldn't that be conscious? If it's a perfect simulation, I suppose it would. So what's the difference between the computer and the tin cans? They're both just man-made systems. The tin can's not perfect. Computers are electrical, computers can remember things. I'm beginning to think I'm a computer and I know I'm conscious. I'm pretty sure we are a computer. I can't name the difference, but there is one. I guess there isn't one. Okay, if you could build a perfect simulation of a human brain using tin cans, then I think it would be conscious as well. In the same avenue, but... That seems... I suppose it's my own personal bias being like, how can you do that with tin cans when I could feasibly... It's feasible, plausible, to do it with computers. I mean, this is a bit irrelevant, but I'll say it anyway. <laughs> Good old fan fashion speciesism, isn't it? Is it? 
You're made of different stuff to that guy, so he doesn't feel the pain when you burn his house down. Still, you're going to have to have better grounds than that. Computers are electrical. Um, computers can remember things. Tin cans can if you set it up up in some sort of memory sort of system. Can't name a difference, but there is one. Uh, I can't name a difference. Uh, the tin can analogy is not perfect. If it was perfect, I'd say sure. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's one of these two. I guess there isn't a difference. It's probably a bit closer. So which is it? Can computers and tin cans be conscious or not? Or they both can. What a bizarre idea. I'll send you a notification when the signposts start complaining. Seriously though, are the ties in the ecosystem sentient as well? Any organised system qualifies? No, not any sentient. There, there, there's a Do line to be drawn. I know not the deceiver slithering through the hidden words. His wisdom is hollow and born of despair. Do not let him tangle you in his webs of delusion. Excuse me, this is a private Have email? Have faith in me and his petty illusions will fall away like nightmares in the morning's light. I, I'm really there are at least some restrictions on what you're prepared to believe. And of course, the, the alternative accounts are also ridiculous. You'd be forgiven by any re reasonable observer for choosing the best of a bad bunch. How consciousness can be so intimately familiar to you and yet so obscure, I just don't understand. Don't mind him. He's just worried right? if you ask too many questions, you'll start to see through his shtick. Stick with me, and this guy will quite literally be the limit. Uh, anyway, I'd like you to think a bit hard about all this and get back to me. I'm sure there's still some progress to be made. Um, I'm kind of with um, the computer terminal over at Edoheim, because Edoheim, you just kind of talk grandiose, and I don't even know like what you want from me. I'm just kind of here to solve puzzles. <laughs> if anything, but so far you haven't been all that contradictory with each other, so I don't see why I can't just do what both of you say for now. One, one had to make a choice, I'll make that choice when, when it comes when it comes to it. Very bright and open area over here, isn't it? Do you hear that noise? Like a dust storm. Slowly building up, but I don't I can only hear it when I look in this direction, weirdly. Wow, let's get out of here. Progress rep nine ML. From Bog Bob, Bob Rakovsky, Nomatics, Ian mailing list, progress report 9. The basic skeleton of a simulation is now running on EL. It's not plugged into the AI system yet, but in theory everything is ready. I guess the next step is to test whether the generated scenarios make sense, or do we wait for this iteration module to... Osiris3.txt The first wisdom, the scribe said to the dying man, is that as a world is made of five elements, one, so is that a soul of man. Know therefore that in this life, you are heart and shadow and name, and also ka and ba. Without all these, you would not be a living being but a thing. What is a man without a name, who cannot speak of himself? What is a man without a shadow, who is not angered into the world? What is a man without a heart, who can neither feel nor think? What is a man without ka, who has no essence? What is a man without a ba, who is not himself, but like unformed clay? Therefore, praise Osiris, the king of eternity, the lord of everlastingness, the eldest son of a womb, of nut, he who traverses millions of years in his existence. Here the translator is clearly inserting his own beliefs into the text as... <laughs> you can't insert your own opinions and beliefs into these texts and translations. I'm meant to be quite literal. Demo... Demo... Democrates alter? <laughs> or on the just causes for war against the Indians. What? By Juan Guinness de Sepulveda. Written in 1547 to justify the Spanish conquest of the Americas. Oh, I see. The Spanish have a perfect right to rule these barbarians of a new world who in humanity are as inferior to the Spanish as children are to adults. Hmm. Or women are to men. Uh, <laughs> for there exists between the two a great, as great a difference as, I might even say, between apes and men. Compare, then, these gifts with those possessed by these half-men, in whom you will barely find the vestiges of humanity, who not only do not possess any learning at all, but are not even literate and eat human flesh. Therefore, if you wish to reduce them, I do not say to our domination, but to a servitude a little less harsh. It will not be difficult for them to change their masters. Yeesh, that was um, a bit yikes, but uh, well, sort of, you know, 1547, it's a, it's a wild time, it's a wild west out there, apparently. Hopefully not one we don't have to concern ourselves with. Uh, I can see a load of QR codes over there on the horizon. What's glitching? I feel like some sort of hologram is going to come and start running at me again. And I'm going to be like, whoa, hello. Sunshot. How big's the sun? About the same size as the moon, strangely. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. I, I, I can kind of see how this works. Um, we are launching both cubes over. And then we'll launch... Why do we need to launch both cubes over? Oh yeah, we, we, we need this cube to be able to launch ourselves, right? Seems like a fairly simple one. Launch both cubes over. And then launch yourself and a cube over. It's amazing the power of these fans. Can you... I've like made a paper of these, these dodecahedrons. That sort of thing. It's amazing how easily they can just sort of fly in the air. Us too, I suppose. It's amazing how easily we can fly in the air too. Everything's so light. I like my little um, pictogram, I suppose. Of a guy just holding up the... The weight of a world, I suppose. Upon his little platform. I wonder what my play button is. Like a video player or something. That doesn't seem particularly helpful, but what do I know? Got some nice little obelisks here and there. So we've gone to the next one. This is a red world. Rather difficult. There's probably hidden meaning in all the scenery that we've seen about, but I'm not really reading into it too much, I suppose. I figured it out. Now what? The only meaningful purpose is to bring about an end of a purpose. Shepherd. The only, the only meaningful purpose is to bring about the end of a purpose. Whoosh! What a fun little name. My word, there's a lot of things going on. Okay, so that's a red laser. Going into that thing. Which powers this on. Which will launch us here. So many fans about the place. This one's on. They're, they're both on, those two. These are all on. Ah, that's not a connector we can even access. It's, it's out of reach. Okay, noted. So is that one. Hmm, okay. I mean... Wait, can we... No, we, we can't crouch in this game, right? Not that I can recall. Why is this cube here? What are we trying to even do? I don't even know where the thing is. These are, these fans are just here to get in our way, is it? Is that what it is? It's not seem particularly helpful. We need like a fan cover. Is there an easy one we can grab somewhere? Hmm. Does holding the cube sort of like block the wind. It does not. Noted. Um. What else can we even interact with? This is not a blowing fan. We could take this fan cover. Okay. We can go this way and blow out this fan. Blow out this cube even. Now we've got another cube to play with. Ah, this way we need to go. I see. So the goal is to stop this blue laser. Now how are we going to do that? How are we going to block that laser? Does this, will this block it? If we do something like this? Hmm. It does seem like we need to levitate the cube, doesn't it? sort of get in the way of a laser. Why is that one here? I'm not particularly sure. Now I think about it, we actually have two fans because we, we could grab that one as well, couldn't we? So it's a bit difficult to try and figure out which can fans we need. What fans do we need? Which fans can we use to our benefit? I don't know if we can get this fan. I'm not sure what the point of this fan even is. We've got these things here. This can block a red laser. Okay. So we can get another fan. I don't know if that's useful, but it's something. Okay, so now we have access to a third fan. Why? <laughs> How can... It's a very strange situation where we know what we need to do, we just don't know how to do it. Which is not all that common. Like, we have this. 
Hmm. That sent me flying. Seems like a bad idea. Um, to leave that plugged in. <laughs> Where did the cube go? We need to. Hmm. We can launch a cube up here, but why? Can we jump up here? Hmm. Why is that just a random outer wall? Behind here. Seems like to me we can actually get over this wall somehow. Hold on. <laughs> this looks like a star location. Perhaps if we stack these two cubes on top of each other? Wait, that's too high up. Can we like... Sort of stack them? Oh, wait, hold on, we can do this, right? Is there a star behind here? No? Really? What? It's on a cube? Bats on a cube? What? Wait, is there something behind here as well then? H how do we get over there though? What's going on? Why is that on a cube? Why is that useful? Hmm, I'm actually kind of stuck. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Because I feel like there's so many elements in this level we're not even interacting with. Like, what's the point of this fan? Is it aimed to get a cube up there? Why is it useful to get that red lay? Oh, hmm. Why is it useful that that red laser's on a cube? Maybe that's a meta level thing. We can use that to shine a red laser into a different world. Perhaps not so relevant to this level. Um, okay. We need to block this blue laser. Or, perhaps we can just sort of climb up. Climb up here. Can we see if this is on a blue? On a cube? It's a bit high up. Is there anything over here? Not that I can see. This feels like it would be a good place to put a star. Hmm. What do we do? There must be some way to block. This blue laser. Can we put a fan on the fan? Didn't really do anything. This just doesn't do anything. What's that noise? We could abs absolutely just launch this cube by doing this. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's helpful for you. <laughs> I suppose we could keep it here and make it go here then. What about this? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting, there's a ladder there. If you somehow manage to get on top of it. I 
I don't know, it's been 35 minutes, but I probably have to round up this episode here, don't I? And I'll have a sit and think about this one, I suppose. I hope, or, well, probably in the next episode we can continue thinking about this. But for now, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been the Talis Principle. I've been Dear Danny. Likes, comments, description, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Dear Danny, Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.